Kenneth Walker, what I was told. He was he was he was a logger. He worked in the woods. That's probably the only guy could get. <coughs> but he was a he was a very uh, talented fiddler. Really? Yeah. And he played. They had square dances. That was a big thing back then. And he was he, he would play the fiddler square dance. And <coughs> they had big square dances on the weekend. And get together. Well, you need to realize that yeah. Indians don't have square dances. That's an American game. Well, I just don't. But in the community, yeah, in the community where they were, yeah. But anyway, uh, he moved around a good bit, and uh, and uh, mama, right. mama was like fifteen, sixteen years old, still in third grade, because she, you know, moving so much. I guess. Yeah. And and also all of her life, and, and they, you know, she had to go to white school. Um, they, they 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 were all together, make fun of. Because of her daughter. And she too. never overcame that. Never came overcame that, and that's one reason she was a Christian. I know I know she was, but she wouldn't ever go to church much, because she was kind of she was a quiet person anyway. And she say she come home, she said, be just a person. That toad Morris walked over all over me tonight and wouldn't speak to me. Oh, Mama, you ought to spoke to her. You know, well, I, I just, the way I just express it. But that stuff sort of hurts. It stays. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, it does. And, that's, mm -hmm. and they, they, Mama and Daddy didn't go to church very much. And both of them were, you know, Christians. Daddy was Christian Baptist. But he joined the <coughs> son of, he joined the Allen Baptist Church. I don't know if it was Sunday I got baptized or not, but. At the, at the baptismal service, the pastor asked if if somebody else don't want to come forward. He went forward and got baptized at Barrow Park, same place I did. We got baptized in the river there. Oh, mm -hmm. I believe it was the same day I got baptized. I can't remember for sure, mm -hmm. but uh, you know he he encouraged me to go to church. I was like eight nine years old, but I could drive. I could at drive. eight or nine years old, yeah. you could drive. Yeah. Well, this is back in the woods, honey. Yeah. And I, I, you oh. know, he, I, he, he taught me to drive at a young age. <coughs> Maybe 10, but I was young. I was young. Yeah. Really good. And uh, uh, I could drive the truck to the church. And if I didn't go, he, he won't know why I was going. He encouraged me to go. But they didn't take they you, did. but they would send you. Right. Occasionally they'd go at night. Uh -huh. There's a revival or something going on. Wait, now tell me, Aunt Rosie, who, what was the connection out there? You said she was she beautiful. Was, Aunt Rosie was a wife of one of mama's brothers oh, right so yeah and she, yeah so he i he think married, when she married a monroe i can't think of a monroe okay and uh your <coughs> uncle monroe and she was uncle. part indian how did your parents well, he'd be the same man as mama, no, but what was she how did she, your parents, she was full of blood she was full blood okay. she was full of blood there was any mm -hmm. question about that how did your parents meet did they ever say oh um, <clears throat> okay daddy came south in 1905. Right. He was 16, and he married, at first, a woman named, uh, her last name was Garrett. Garrett, Stella. She was a white woman. Mm -hmm. Stella. 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 Stella, Stella. Stella, Stella. Uh -huh. and, and I think in 19, Dad was born in 89. In 1918, I think, mm -hmm. uh, Stella got sick. The flu of epidemic. Never came through. Right. And she died. Daddy had two children, Buddy mm -hmm. and sister, or right. Lloyd and Elgin. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. He needed somebody to take care of those kids. You know, and I, I guess in my dad's eyes, my mom was a pretty, very good looking woman. I don't know, but she was born in 1900, and I think he married in 19, maybe 1920. She was 20 years old. Right. And uh, and Mama raised Buddy was five and his Elvie was three. And she raised him just like they were her children, you know. And he was very good as her mother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, they was always you could tell they were a different bloodline to us, you know, they were. But Grandma Lee, uh, she was a compton. Right. And, uh, you know, she, she married, married she married my granddad. She uh I was told by Iron and AC and Merlin confirmed it. 
I never knew her. She died before I was born. That man, she for for years after Daddy married Mama, she would let Mama in her house because she didn't think she was good enough. That's how much she discriminated against. Her. Wow. Well, that that's why against. people that's like the public really didn't want to go to church that because means, the average white people didn't want to have anything to do with it. And then so. Uncle Earl, mm -hmm. he married this woman named Mildred Perry, white woman. <clears throat> she was from America, Georgia. And Hank Mildred's bad to talk gossiping. And, uh, and so she kind of looked down on Mama also, so I was told, and I don't doubt it. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, so uh, Mama, it was, I don't know how long, how long they've been married before my Grandma was at Mama in her house. And, uh, but by her she told me that. And said that he, she wouldn't let Mama in her house. And uh, I guess she thought she was still an Indian. I don't know. But those are just, that's the reason she was so quiet. And she, uh, she did extremely well considering where she came from. She really drew herself up by her bootstraps, you know. Didn't Uncle Earl, she married Uncle Earl, or he, didn't he yeah, marry her? Yeah, you're right. Hank Mildred died. Daddy died in 56. Hank Mildred died in the fall of January, February of 57. <clears throat> and uh, I left home in 1960. And uh, <coughs> going to college, I was 21. I was going, going to college. And Mama and Pearl got together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and, uh, that was in 65 or 64? 1960, when I started school. And I got married in 61. I graduated from college in 64. Okay. Uh, and man, all the children, all the girls' children, daddy's children, man, they were, they didn't like it. They never ever said that. Really? Uh, yeah. And man, they'd say, man, people talk about this all the that's been going on for years. And all that kind of <laughs> stuff. Well, mama said, you know, when you get old, you want a companion. Mm -hmm. And they married. And they lived together for one year. They were, they were married when you and I got married. How long? Our girl was. That's why I was thinking it was 1964 yeah. they got married. No, they got married. I think it's 14. But why is it you told me all about that before we were before we got married? You told me about that, but they so you know how the family yeah. was so upset about that. Well, I met you in '62. Remember? Huh? I met you in '62. I was at Clark College. Well, six and six yeah, okay. they got married. Okay. And so, but Uncle Earl, you know, he never had owned a vehicle. He learned to drive that he married Mama. And, uh, and, uh, What did he do for a living? He was farming. He farmed? And he was a carpenter. Right? He farmed with your daddy? Or had his own? Uh, he had, had six separate. acres that he farmed there. He and Daddy worked together a lot. <clears throat> daddy had 120 acres. Their lands were, was adjacent to each other? <clears throat> there was a 40 acres separating them, but they worked together a lot. Mm -hmm. And our girl <clears throat> was a carpenter. He built houses and stuff on the side. Right. And uh, <clears throat> drew such, paid so cute a can. When he and Mama got married, then Mama was able to draw so good so security. But Byron <clears throat> was there and he, he Farm Mama's place for her, for her, and didn't join right. mm -hmm. And uh, she saved her, she sold cows and swim in and stuff like that. Of course, she hadn't paid for the input that went into making the crops, but never in labor. And uh, so he she, started she banked her. and saved. Did she the one that started about having the chicken houses? No, that was done for Daddy. That was done before you did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had chicken houses when I left in 1960. <coughs> anyway, uh, she had butter, she had the milk, the butter, and eggs, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. But mm -hmm. um, she, you know, she was able to. When she died, she had around 60, 
$67,000 in CDs. Wow. She sure did. I got it up. Wow. Hey, good for her. Yeah, she, she had more of a business mind than, than your grandfather did. Well, for a girl who was who was uh, discriminated well, against, and, and, and you didn't know, have and, a, the education and everything, she did with real well. With little ever, education and was poor. Oh, you know, she didn't have it. Just third very grade. poor. She could barely read. Well, you remember that is an amazing story. I thought you said she had an eighth grade education. No, third. Third. Okay. Third it was my dad that? that had the eighth grade education. Okay. And daddy had a ninth grade. Okay. You know. For some reason, the eighth grade stuck in my head, and I thought that was great. It was like third grade. Yeah. The mom and dad, and she didn't particularly like to read. Aunt Mildred had a more education. She liked to read the papers and stuff all the time. But Mama didn't hear nothing about that. She'd read the Bible and <clears throat> stuff like that. But uh, uh, she just. Uh, Did she have anything to do with her relatives back on the reservation after? She oh, got yeah. married. She'd go up there occasionally. She had daddy go up there. I went up there a few times with them. She had a. When did her parent, When did her parents die? Mom's parents. Yeah. When did her parents die? Well. That'd be Grandpa Virginia. Walker. Yeah. Died uh, before. Uh, I think he died just before I was born. I have to look. I have to look at that book. Okay. But uh, what other book can you read? Yeah. <coughs> Virginia, grandma died when I was about to wait. Okay. Yeah. Did she look Indian? No, she. No, she was white. She's no, the one you said it was very slender. Very slender. Very slender. Mm -hmm. Marty just loved her features, and she hated the name Eugenia. Yes, we won't. Yeah, we won't talk said about she that. Changed it. That's a serious yeah, thing. She dropped that But anyway, y'all go tell her I said that. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I know you will. No, I'm not saying a word. Because I know you. Uh -huh. We all know how we Mark is. We say it. We all know before how we get to bed now, we all, all the whole family knows. You Although know it you wouldn't hurt for Mark to learn more about who she's named after. <coughs> but she gets some of those features. There's a lot in a name. Really. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Margaret has, she, well, I did, of course, didn't know this woman, but you know, even your grandmother. Um, was slender, and she had a little pooch, but gosh, in the old age, having a little pooch, that's no big deal. But, you know, you can tell her bone structure and everything, she had slender legs. Tiny. Uh, yeah, uh, tiny and woman. slender legs, and so uh, uh, Mar Margaret got that boy. Yeah, and Grandma didn't have a pooch at all. Yeah. I mean, she was just uh, slender. A very uh, a genteel looking lady, you know, mm -hmm. always. So, how many kids did she have? Oh, she had Mama. Mama was oldest. She had yeah. Aunt Belle. Had Leonard. And three boys. Leslie. Four boys. Riley. Frank. Monroe. And Frank. And Frank. And then she had Jane. this uh, had Aunt Aura. And then she had that one. Or Aunt Bell and there's Ron. one that I can't remember her name. That we wasn't around very much. Yeah. Yeah, so I started over. Wow. I had Mama, Aunt Bell, Uncle Leonard, Uncle Riley, Uncle Monroe, and Frank who died. That's <coughs> six. Then she had a this daughter. Anyway, it was, I saw her took the time of my life, and then Aunt Aura. She had eight, I think. We got ten. Where did Nine she, ten. Um, makes you wonder where she got the name Aura. O-R-A, Aura. Uh, Aunt Aura was not a, she was a, but that was a she woman. wasn't a very tall yes. woman. She was kind of a subtle Well, woman. I suppose that you name your families <laughs> until, until this, y'all's generation. You name your children after your relatives. One of our clients, her name's Aura. Oh, oh, oh she's in her, yeah, O-R-A. -O you named them after you. Black, but she's still Aura, that's her name. Okay, so. Uh, if oh, it's just interesting. Yeah, it's not when you hear a lot. names change. Oh, Eugenia, not, Eugenia name Hare, we don't know anything about her other than uh, she was Hare, H-A-I-R-E, I guess. 
And so like she had are. uncles and that's aunts right. and a mother and all this, but maybe sisters. So that's where the aura probably came from. Right. You know, usually a lot of times women, mothers name their daughters well, and fathers name their sons. That used, used to be the way it was. That's a rebel song.